I'm proud to be from Biddeford. It's a great community. People are friendly. And that's one of the things I remember when I would have visitors and they'd come to Biddeford High School and they'd say, you know, we walk down the hallway and Biddeford youngsters always smile. And teachers always acknowledge us and say, can we help you? And that doesn't happen in a lot of schools. And I think that's true no matter where you go in Biddeford. People are friendly. Um, you can start a conversation with almost anyone. And um, I'm just happy for it, staying in my home community. I said, well, I said, look, I said, uh, I mean, I grew up there, I went to school there, and I even worked in a shoe store there. I said, I'll probably be, some, be preaching some Sunday morning up in a pulpit, and there's going to be this little old woman who'll be on the front seat. She'll look at me, she says, that's the kid who sold me my shoes, I've had bindings ever since. And she'll throw her shoe at me, you know. And he says, it's very funny, but she's still going. And they sneaked over the mountain, which was very dangerous, and they got into Italy, because we're right on the Italian border. And that's, they got a boat, and they came to America. Now, wasn't that daring? Two young men, not speaking a word of English. Uh, my, my dad died young. My dad died at 37. I can remember my mother, my mom coming to me to say, and say, uh, you're going to be the man of the house now. And it shook me up at 13 years old, not knowing what was ahead of 